I don't think there's anything down here um, other than the uh, the things, the uh, coffins. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Jamie, it's empty. Right. Let's finish this. Quote unquote. Wink, wink. Dum dee dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. <clears throat> Here we are. Howdy. How can I? <clears throat> oh. Hey, squad. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Okay, I need to uh, go into my box. Unless I already have it in my inventory, I don't. So it's box A. Grab you. Unfortunately, I don't have all the other things. I'll take the quiche. I don't think I have anything in my other one. No. Alright. Let's do this. Save it again. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. I don't like going to the dentist. Not a fun time. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. It's so trippy. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. The only thing I would really need to do is go, uh, go get another item, but I don't need it. I, I see. This is it then. Ready? It's also a really good song. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems like your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Sling. Slash. Boom. Asgore. 80 attack, 80 defense. Oh, that's it? That That is all? Okay. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Yeah. Rough. You ate the butterscotch pie. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. Ah. 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 You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. And defense dropped. C 
seems talking won't do any more good. Well, that's as best as I could get. Which is fine. Don't move. Ah, God dang it. Rough. There we go. it does the fast ones. It's always hard to judge where I need to be. Ow. Whatever. Hey. I'm doing the damage. One or two more hits. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I did it. Good. That is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. 
Take my soul and leave this cursed place. No. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. No. Da 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 da. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> okay. Crashing your game. Okay. So bring that back up. wants to come back up. There we go. One day they all disappeared without a trace. Right. My world. Fascinating. No. No saving, no returning. Bam. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. <laughs> Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become a god. And then, with my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. <laughs> oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. Why? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Bup, 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 bup. Flashing lights warning. It's so disturbing. Especially since it's like realistic. The laugh is what gets me. Everything else is fine. It's just the laugh. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. Thank you. I need all the help I can get. This is the best one because it gives you all the health that you need.
third of the way there. Is this the ballet shoes? No, it's the tough glove. Fortunate. Game over. This is all a bad dream, and you're never waking up. <laughs> Closing your game. Okay, bring this back up. Wants to load. There we go. Hee hee hee. Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? Well, I was hoping I could make it through without dying, but. You're that much of a beach. This one, not because like it's incredibly hard or anything. It's just that when when it turns to like the green words, and it's like oh, give you health. They're so far in between. Just the the madness of like all the attacks at one time, like the like flies and the bombs and the pellets. It's just overwhelming sometimes. That's why I died. Just give me all, give, give me all the eggs or whatever. The last one is the gun, right? Probably.
There we go. There we go. Made it through. Yes, give me all the good stuff. Thank you, souls. Now I have a fighting chance. Defense drop to zero. Can't see where I am. Great if I can see. defeat me? I am the god of this world, and you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. You called for help, but nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Right. What? How'd you... Well, I just... Load failed. Right on. What? Where are my powers? Rebel. Rebel! The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! No! Stop! Or stoop! What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. Okay. I'll kill you. No, you won't. I'll kill everyone you love. Whatever. Close enough. Eh? Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. 
coward. Undertale by Toby Fox. Miscellaneous credits. Huh, Washua was by Omacat? Didn't realize that. They made a Mori. Alright. Ring, ring. Hey, yo. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instead a new a new policy. All the humans who fall here who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second, I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of, except instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Elphis with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too, though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey! What are you up to, punk? Yeah. Please don't noogie the phone! Hey, who's in charge here? Me! Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Don't, please don't noogie the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Elvis's lab assistant. I'm gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench, pre bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault he, uh... Ah, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she... She can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are. I hope it gets... I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get here. Get there. So wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toil, Toil. Do you wanna... Heh, <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to, we wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, uh, hate to cut this short, but be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Click. And boom. So close. Why? Why did you let me go? 
don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. Okay. So now I just have to end, I have to go all the way back to uh, the lab, which is fine. Man, Undyne's voice really, um, really kills my throat. It's like, when I played this initially, I did the exact same voice and it was fine. And it's not helpful that it's like I remember um, when I was playing through Deltarune, which I'll get back to eventually. Uh, the um, the voice I gave Susie um, was not good. Apparently, um, I watched a, like a YouTube short the other day, and apparently Susie was alluded to somewhere in Undertale. I don't remember where. I think it has something to do with the, uh, the fun, like, meter or whatever that's in the game. <laughs> ring ring! Hey! Uh, this is Undyne! Shut up, Papyrus! This was your idea! Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyruses. See ya, punk! Okay. Do I have the money now? I do. I kind of want to see if I can get, um, a little bit more gold. Um... I might, hmm. Like, I want to try to get enough gold to send Tim to, uh, to college. I think it's only a thousand. Could be wrong. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna save it here. Nah. Nah. Care for a ride? I don't care that much. Tra la la, humans, monsters, flowers. Come again sometime, tra la la. Do you say anything different while I'm here? No, you don't. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Elphis. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. He got the Undyne's letter. The Undyne's letter. Not Undyne's letter. The Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Alright, head back to Heartland. Then we're off. Don't snoop behind people's houses. You might be mistaken for a trash can. 
like that um, subtle hint to um, behind Sans's house. I was talking about that. I tried going back there before I fought uh, Papyrus. Um, but the door was locked and I don't have the key. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Yes. No! You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What are you doing in there is my question. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god, did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no, that's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Dating start. Question mark? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. She's adorable. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of a... Uh, um, anyway, let's go, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you these to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Um, anyway, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been, uh, stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got, uh, some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, uh, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, uh... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's uh date. <laughs> well, this is awkward. No talking. Um, uh, do you like anime? Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of anime, but I'll watch it. <laughs> hey, me too. Hey, let's. Go somewhere, but where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh, <laughs> she's really, uh... Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Yep. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, uh, she's way out of my league. Not, not that you aren't um, cool, but uh, Undyne... She's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies. She thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. 
Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy, or a truth where neither of us, neither of us are. They say, they say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is, same girl. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get, they'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't, don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us would be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi Undyne, how are you doing today? I'm fine. Haha, <laughs> glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I, I... I haven't been exactly truthful with, the, with you. You see, I... I Oh, forget it. Undyne, I I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. I like telling... Like, like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. Well, what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were... Uh, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that I, that seaweed- oh, okay, I'm not gonna bother. Those are just dorky comic books. History movies, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. Elvis, I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elphys! Undyne, I, I really think you need, okay? Elphys! Shush! Shush! Go! Elphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Elvis, I want to help you beca become who happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... you're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Nice. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to do jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne, I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Right? Anime's real, right? Anime's real. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princess, princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Okay, then. It's like, remember remember this spot, Undyne, when, when you uh, cut down the bridge and you made me fall down? Good times. And... Boom. 
Ah, oh, so close. Ring, ring. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Elphys and I finished our training early, very early, so I sent her home, very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there, to her lab, house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Alright. So we'll go right over here. Tell me about the hotline, man. We'll go over to the lab, man. Then we're off. Tralala, tralale, tralale. I've never seen that dialogue either. So many new things I haven't seen before. Come again sometime. Right. I don't think I'm ever gonna need you again. Save it just in case. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yeah. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. But for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. It's a bathroom sign. It's not a bathroom, though. Warning. Warning. Emergency power. Whatever. Elevator losing power. M... EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Alright, Joey. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. 